Are you inspired to develop products for older adults after watching the previous Promise videos? This video explains the StageGate innovation model to help you start innovating. Product innovation is a highly complex process which can be structured using the StageGate model developed by Robert Cooper and explained in his book, Winning at New Products. Before getting into the details of the different stages, you might be wondering why it is worth the effort to implement a model like StageGate. Working with such a structured roadmap offers a lot of advantages. There is better in-market success, better in-company success, more clarity about planned projects, there is greater portfolio visibility, improved cross-functional team collaboration within the company, there is improved collaboration with external parties, and there is a reduction of production errors and waste of raw materials. The StageGate model guides projects from the first idea to the final product launch using different stages. At the end of each stage, the work is evaluated at a gate to see whether the project is ready to move on to the next stage. Although each gate has a different focus and the gates become more rigorous when the project progresses, they all have a similar structure. At each gate, the project is assessed based on a review of the deliverables of the previous stage, a set of decision criteria, the strategic fit, the product and competitive advantage, its market attractiveness, the technical feasibility and synergy and core competencies, and the financial risk and reward and the outputs for the next stage. For example, committed resources, an action plan, or new deliverables. Now it's time to take a closer look at the different stages of the model. Although the model has a lot of variations, traditionally it has five stages and five gates, with an extra orientational phase at the beginning of a project. Stage zero is the ideation and discovery stage. This is a preparatory phase in which business opportunities and ideas are being generated. Stage one is the scoping stage. This is a quick investigation of the idea based on desk research. The goal is to gain insight in the technical feasibility and market chances of the idea. A SWOT analysis can be a useful tool in this phase of the process. Stage two is called building the business case. In this phase, a product definition, a business case, a project plan, including detailed timeline and feasibility review are all being made. After this phase, the product development starts and a substantial financial commitment is being made. Stage three is the product development stage. Most of the work is done in this phase by multiple departments that work together on the project. In this phase, the plans that were being made in phase two are executed. And activities are amongst others, the product development, the development of marketing plans, consumer testing and research, and a regular review and update of the timeline. All those activities are being done according to an iterative process. In the so-called spiral development, the customer provides assessment and feedback on each development outcome. The result of this phase is an internally tested prototype of the product. In stage four, the testing and validation phase, the whole project is validated. Not only the product is tested and reviewed, but also the production process, marketing plans, financial assumptions, and customer acceptance are tested. At the end of this phase, the product is no longer a prototype. Once the project passes the last gate, it is ready for stage five, the product launch. In this phase, the product is taken into production and is introduced to the market. After the product's launched, a post-launch review can be carried out. In this review, the financial aspects of the launch are analyzed, but also the customer satisfaction. And of course, don't forget to look back at the process and use your learnings for future projects. This video explained the full five phases of the StageGate model. Also, a reduced three-phase version does exist, which is used more often in SMEs. If you would like more information on the variations of the StageGate model, please click the link below. And don't forget to take a look at the website of Promise for more information on protein malnutrition in older adults. Thank you for watching.